horses, they were great. One of them just pawed the hell out of my foot, you know, I'm sitting there trying to keep that, that TV personality smile on going, I feel great tonight. No! Man, whew. Anyway, being part of a show which has a cult following is really not new to this gentleman you're going to see now. Fans still remember him from The Invaders and most recently Dark Shadows. Let's bring him out, Roy Thinnis. Comrade Rick. <laughs> Comrade. The white horse asked for your phone number. Yeah. <laughs> you've actually been in Westerns. You've ridden horses before. Oh, yes, yes. How is your relationship with horses? Well, really? a lot of the movie horses are overtrained, you know. And uh, James Conn and I years ago played the, the James Brothers on Death Valley Days. And I had a horse who would not stop. He was a great rider. Jimmy got off that horse oh, yeah, and a moving he dismount. He was excellent. My horse would continue walking through the picket fence and chew on the bushes. I was trying to look like a hero. This horse would not stop. They finally had to hide a wrangler behind the fence and scream at the horse to stop him. <laughs> so you and horses, mm. maybe one like this, three feet tall. That would have helped. I could have stopped him with my feet. I could have <laughs> put my heels into the dirt. You know what you ought to do? I was thinking, it's a terrible way to think, but I said, get, th get these and breed them. You could have a great house if you sell four of them yes. real fast. And you could raise little cowboys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Good too. Let's get over to Dark Shadows. Uh, several people were just asking. Dark Shadows. Yes. Has it been canceled? No. The fans have taken over. The, the power well, of the fans. Good for well, them. You know that. You know, from Memphis, all the fans you yeah, have there. Yeah. Oh, My wife was one. Was she really? Oh, thank you. The fans are picketing NBC in New York and 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 Chicago and L.A. The letters are pouring in. And they're not, it's not a hostile picket. They're not striking and saying, we yeah. demand. They're supporting the show. And Good. as a result, they've, hired, they've written more scripts. And uh, they haven't announced. They haven't announced yet. That'll be May 15th or thereabouts, uh, what mm -hmm. the new season will be. But I trust they'll rerun them anyway. Sure. Are you in? Yes, I'm in. Good. Reverend Trask. <laughs> of course you yes. are. <laughs> there are a lot of ghosts and crazy things in there. Do you actually believe in the occult? Well, uh, there are a lot of things that have happened that are hard to, to resist. Uh, it just makes great drama. Uh, yeah. Vampire movies and vampire shows have always been tremendously successful. And Dark Shadows has one of the greatest followings. They have, they have conventions every year, twice a year, once in New York and, and, and once out here in Los Angeles, where 25,000 people will come in costume. I know. And they run the black and white reruns. They do the yes. whole thing. Yes. Wow. It's amazing. So, ghosts. Ghosts. You kind of skirted the issue there. I mean, do well, you believe ghosts. in ghosts or don't you? I deal with invaders from other planets. <laughs> and I, that's where my experience lay. Uh, UFOs, then? They're still among us. Yes. You think so? Oh, they're among us. Definitely. Have you ever seen a UFO? I saw a UFO. It was the week that the now, invaders... Now, this is going to be a joke, is it? No, what? no. You actually saw a UFO. I did. I saw it, it, I saw it on the horizon out in the valley. I was driving mm -hmm. west saw it on the horizon uh, yeah. it was coming down white it went behind the horizon and it came up on the right multicolored dashing off into what space what was the shape well i couldn't tell the shape i was too far away it wasn't a real close encounter it was a an encounter of a kind but it was the week that the invaders was going on the air and i thought what do i do report this and look like a self-serving actor who's trying to get publicity i can't do this well within an hour i heard reports of it on the radio one of the writers for the invaders had right. called in from Malibu. She and her son had seen it. Uh, so. so you should have done it. You'd have gotten some great publicity. Well, I guess I Come would on, have. Roy. Yes. This is what it's all about. Oh, chump. I would have done it. Well, <laughs> if I have another opportunity, I will do it. Would you have done it? Absolutely. Yeah. In right. fact, I saw a UFO last weekend. <laughs> would you like to tell me about it? I did. I was, I was, out, I was out with my wife. And this is exactly what happened. We were parked up around Mulholland Drive and we heard a we saw a light flashing kind of a cigar shaped thing and we saw something flash by the car and it burned us both beyond recognition I was sucking you in there now I'm, I'm dying to see a UFO do you think there's life on other planets and in other galaxies and I think so I think a lot of people believe that <laughs> You were really into that, weren't you? Well, I am. 
let's let's go over to some other things that you do because I, I was I wanted to touch on on boating too. You still into the boats and all? Yes. Uh, next, well, two weeks from now, we're going to be in the uh, Newport Ensenada race. I just crew for a friend who has a boat. Oh, that's got to be a fantasy come true, though. Well, it is. It's. Uh, it can be a fantasy come true. It can also be a nightmare. We tried this once before, and uh, we got about five miles from Newport, and you can see San Onofre, mm -hmm. the power plant, which is lit up like daylight, even at night. And it's this right. awesome, bright station. A nuclear there. glow. Yeah. And we were looking for a wind. We were trying to tack back and forth in, inside this corridor, looking for wind, and nothing would happen. And We'd get excited, suddenly wind would come up, and we'd all start screaming, we'd be changing the tack, and ten minutes later, we'd see San Onofre again. It would be behind us, the right, to the left. We sat there for about seven hours, and then one of us had the nerve to go down and wake up uh, Bucky, our skipper, and say, do uh, you have any instructions? What should we do? He, says, he said, yeah, buy what? Newport for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> or buy a motor, yeah. buy an album. Well, come and deuce, good luck. I hope we make it this year. You will. You will make it this year. Dark Shadows in May, we're going to find out for sure. Welcome, thank you. Major Roy, thank you, buddy. It's a pleasure. We'll be back. Stay up.